one of the many enchanting natural panoramas in Indonesia that has received a lot of attention and much visited is the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park. To the Indonesian people, this national park is of great importance in the country's history of natural conservation because since the 1800s, the area has been known as the place for botanical research. The Mount Gede Pangrango National Park's location straddles among the three regencies of Bogor, Cianjur, and Sukabumi. The Mount Gede Pangrango National Park, which stores many natural mysteries and resources, was declared a national park by the government on March 6, 1980. UNESCO established the park as a biospheric reserve in 1977. The Mount Gede Pangrango National Park covers an area of some 15,196 hectares and formerly consisted of Chibodas Natural Preserve, Chimungkat Natural Preserve, Mount Gede Pangrango Natural Preserve, and the Situ Gunung Recreational Park. Then on June 10, 2003, the National Park was expanded to 21,975 hectares. As a natural conservation area, the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park serves as a place for research, education, and ecotourism. Management and development of the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park are implemented through a variety of programs, including biodiversity research, analysis of plant species and the ecosystem, analysis of plant species and their habitats, rehabilitation of formerly worked land within the park, development of activities in the buffer zone, combined operation to secure the park area, mapping, database compilation, development of ecotourism and natural recreational activities. These programs are incorporated and affected in the management and development of the National Park. As a government institution, the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park constitutes as a technical executing unit of the Directorate General of Forest Protection and Natural Conservation of the Forestry Department. With a manpower more than 135 personnel, consisting of office administrative staff and field officers, forest rangers and forestry technicians, the park has carried out their assigned task and mission satisfactorily until the present time. Supported by various facilities and infrastructure, the park continues to develop its management programs In implementing these programs, the park area is divided in the following zones. Sanctuary Zone. This zone is purpose for activities related to science and research. Protected Zone. Besides similar activities that take place in the Sanctuary Zone, this zone also accommodates educational activities and natural ecotourism in a limited manner. And Utilization Zone. This zone is open to ecotourism and recreational activities that are supported by limited facilities and infrastructure.
The Mount Gidepangrango National Park is important for researchers because of its unique and specific natural resources. Its flora, fauna, ecosystem, and even its natural phenomena and qualities are living proof that the forest is in intact and pristine condition. The ecologically inside park can be grouped into six types of ecosystems. Mountaineer Tropical Rainforest. This type of forest ecosystem is found at an elevation of 800 to 2,500 meters above sea level. Generally, this forest type is dominated by large trees with three layers of crowns, such as the Rasamala, Puspa, Jamuju, and Sunnington trees. Subalpine forest. This type of forest ecosystem lies at an altitude of 2,500 to 3,000 meters above sea level. Generally, this kind of forest is dominated by medium-sized vegetation with thin crown, somewhat bended stems and moss covered, such as the Chantigi, Kijabuk, and Jinjing Gunung. Swamp forest or swamp ecosystem. This kind of forest found on acid soil marshlands. The vegetation here consists of the Rumput Gayonggong and Walini. Crater vegetation. This type of ecosystem lies at a height of 2,900 to 3,000 meters above sea level, where dwarfy plants and bushes abound, including the Edelweiss, Gandapura, and Chantigi. Mountain Freshwater Lake Ecosystem This ecosystem is characterized by water inundation all year long. The vegetation here include the algae and moss. Cultivation Forest Ecosystem The dominating plant here is the damar tree. Based on observation results, up to now more than 1,500 species of flora have been registered in the park consisting of protected and unprotected plants. By the elevation where they grow, the vegetation here can be grouped into three levels of altitude. Submontane, at an elevation of 1,000 to 1,500 meters above sea level. Montane, at a height of 1,500 to 2,400 meters above sea level. Subalpine, at an altitude of above 2,400 meters above sea level. On the submontane and montane levels, dense forests are found, generally dominated by high and big trees, such as the Puspa, Rasamala, and Jamuju trees. On the subalpine level, the vegetation consists of low and small plants, Of great attraction and drawing much interest here is the Edelweiss or Anaphalis javanica. The Edelweiss flower is also called the eternal flower because it looks as if it never withers. The animals that have recorded so far in the park number some more than 800 species. Interestingly enough, the park is home to over 50% of the bird species found on Java Island, including Javan Hawk Eagle, Chestnut-bellied Partridge, Hornbill, Scotty-headed Bulbul, and others. The mammals consist of Javan Gibbon, Long-tailed macaque, ebony leaf monkey, scaly ant eater, civets, wild boar, leopard, and others. The temperature around the Mount Gidepangrango National Park, which ranges between 10 and 18 degrees Celsius, provides convenient cool surroundings to the visitors. 
the cool breeze and spectacular view of the rising sun in the morning from the summit of Mount Gede Pangrango is an exquisite experience that visitors would cherish for the rest of their lives. Here on Mount Gede, we will find seven craters, that is, Gemuru Crater, Gede Crater, Sela Crater, Ratu Crater, Baru Crater, Wadon Crater, Lanang Crater. According to records, Mount Gede erupted for the first time in the year 1747. Since that first eruption, until the last one on March 13, 1957, the volcano has erupted 26 times. The resulting volcanic soil has made the slopes of both Mount Gede and Mount Pangrango extremely fertile as they are now. The reasonably high rainfall, averaging 4,000 mm annually, has made Mount Gede and Mount Pangrango an important rain catch area that is vital for the surrounding region. The park holds several fountainheads that feed the headwaters of some major rivers that run through the regencies of Chianjur, Sukabumi, and Bogor in West Java and all the way down to Jakarta. As a tourist destination, the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park has proven to generate a positive impact on the livelihood and therefore the economy of the surrounding community. The local people, who are mostly farmers, take advantage of the opportunity by selling various fruits, decorative plants, and all kinds of handicrafts for souvenir. In order to enhance the quality of service to the visitors, the park has been provided with an entrance gate, a Wisma Cinta Alam, a visitor's information center, camping grounds, and other services. The preservation of the park is actually the responsibility of the whole society, and therefore a number of joint programs and activities have been organized with volunteers, non-governmental organization, and the surrounding community. In addition, society in general, and especially the local community, are provided with illuminating information that chopping down trees and animal poaching in the forest can cause destruction to the ecosystem. Along these lines, efforts have been undertaken to disseminate a number of forest protection programs to the community, including fostering the establishment of buffer zones, research, environmental education, and the development of natural ecotourism. To enhance society's awareness, including the surrounding community, as well as the visitors, especially the young generation, in addition to providing illuminating information, other supporting activities are also organized in the form of conservation education, film shows, and scientific seminars. It is thereby hoped that the culture to love nature and its biodiverse treasure will constantly grow among all walks of society. Finally, it is hoped that the natural resources that exist within the Mount Gede Pangrango National Park will be managed in a more purpose-aimed manner according to need and appropriate scale of priority. Music